Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next topic. That is, in this lecture, we will be discussing in detail with respect to starting and ending with the strings and a few more substrings, guys. Okay. So, we will be discussing these two type of questions in this particular lecture. Okay. Yes. So, let us start with our first question that is starting and ending with A. So basically you need to start with A and end with A. So please concentrate guys. So what is the smallest string here guys? So if you understand, so the smallest string, most of the students might be thinking that. So it should start with A, end with A. So they think this is the shortest string, but this is also starting with A and ending with A, right? Yes. So the smallest string which we can think of is a single A, right? Yes. So when we, when we want to work with single A, I think a single arrow is enough, right? So Q0. A double state Q1. This is our start symbol. Okay. Yes. So now double A. So when it comes to double A, triple A, four A's, five A's, everyone will be starting and ending with A, right? So I think directly I can form a loop here. But assume that we got A B. So at that time, this should not be accepted, right? Yes. So that is the reason why let us go through some other state and let us name it as B. Okay. And assume that now the given thing is A B A. So at that time, I need to return back with that A. So basically we have started with A and ended with A, ended with A, right? Yes. So now assume that in between multiple B's came. So A, B, 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 A. So at that time I need to loop here. Okay. So now this node is completed and this node is completed done. So now we are left out with this. So basically as I clearly told that it is starting and ending with A. So if it starts, uh, starts with B, it is going to go into a dead state, right? Yes. So this is the dead state. A comma B. So I think now the diagrams are being really simple, right? Yes. So this is a nothing but what guys it is a starting with A. So I think in the same way I think everyone can draw a diagram for starting with B right. Yes. So now let us go through the next two things that is starting and ending with the same symbol. So indirectly I want to build A A starting with A and ending with A and starting with B and ending with B in a same diagram guys. Okay, so now that will be really interesting, right? Yes. So let us take the first case first. That is a starting with A and ending with A. I think the above diagram is only for that, right? Yes. So let us try to modify that only. I'm just copying the diagram for the first part. A, B, Q3. This will give B. From here you will go A. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now we are done with this, right? So when A comes, I will come here. When B comes, it's a loop. When A comes here, okay, yes. Yeah. So now when it comes to the BB part, so the same concept with respect to B, right? Yes. So once I find a single B, I will go to the final state. Okay, and if I find further Bs, I will stay in that only. If I find A, I will go to the other state. And if I find continuously A, so I will stay here only. Once I find a B, I will come here. So indirectly, this will be, this a below part will be working for B, starting with B and ending with B. This will work for starting with A and ending with A. So this is the combined diagram, right? Yes. So this question is a quite interesting and easy, right? Yes. Okay. So now assume that the same question is given with the starting and ending, starting and ending with the different symbols. Okay, so when we want to start and end with a different symbol, so the minimum length will be how much guys now? So AB will be a valid string and BA will be a valid string. So in the same way like this, let us design two paths for this. So from a Q naught, if we get A and if we get B, we will go in this way, Q2. If I find B, I will go below, Q3, BA. okay. Yes. So these are going to be the final states and assume that they clearly told that starting and end with single symbols. So I think we can loop here when we find continuous base or we can loop when we find continuous A. And if I get a here, I can come back here. Right. Yes. And if I get continuous A, I can loop here. Right. Yes. Because starting with A and ending with B, that's it. Right. Yes. The same things I can draw here also. So if I get a B, I will come back. If I get further Bs, I will continue in the loop. So this is the diagram for starting and ending with the different symbols. Right. Yes. So whenever you are getting any kind of doubt, so you can check based on some examples, right? So you can take a particular string. Okay. So you can take a particular string like so starting and ending with different symbols. So A, B, A, B. Okay. So let us analyze this. So first I will start here. So once I get A, I will come here. Okay. So once I get B, I will come here. Once I get A, I will come back here. Once I get B, I will come back here. So indirectly this is accepted as I am in the final state. Got it? Yes. So these questions are really easy guys. And most of the time the advantage here is, sorry, the advantage with respect to gate is, 
are we given any examination paper to draw these diagrams and submit them guys no right so the only thing is uh, you should understand how we are working so basically how you can say that uh, this is a good approach like if they give this diagram and they will say that this thing is accepted or not so those type of things they will design you the things uh, we should just verify the conditions that's it got it yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea on this right yes so i think everyone is now clear with the starting and ending with the symbols right yes so in my book i think i have there are few more things like starting with the double a or starting with double b so i will be taking one or two examples because after that i think everyone of you can try them right yes because if i teach everything now most of the students will be watching it like a movie right i'm sure about it a a and b b starting with the. okay yes so these are two different paths huh? So let us start at Q naught. So if A comes, I will go to the above path. Okay, Q two and this is the final state. And if B comes, I will go to the below path. Okay. So now these two are accepted. So now furtherly we could have many things, right? Yes. So let us concentrate. Okay. So A A comes means here. So what if once A started, so it should be start with A A. So A A pattern is mandatory, right? Yes. So if suddenly B comes, so what we should do, guys? we should think of something so basically assume that we are talking about starting with a a and ending with a b b sorry starting with a b b so indirectly assume that the start symbol is a b a in this way sorry a b so at that time you need to go to a dead state right so when you find b you should go to a dead state so assume that this is our dead state guys so let us keep it q5 okay so this is a dead state a comma b and here also if i get in between b b if i get something i am coming i am going to come here right yes So if I get A, I'm going to come there. And similarly, if anything other than this, if any things comes, I can directly loop here, right? A comma B, A comma B. Okay. Yes. So this is the diagram. And to be clear, is this a minimized diagram, guys? So anyway, we'll be discussing the how what the process of minimization. But I just want to show you what is minimization. So if you observe here carefully, what is a Q4, guys? Huh? So Q4 is a final state. What is a Q2? Q2 is a final state, and both of them are having self loops, right? So indirectly, I can remove this Q4, and I can connect this value directly to this, right? So indirectly, both of them are same, right? So that's the reason why I can delete one and I can replace the other link to that, right? Yes. So this is the minimized diagram, guys. Got it? Yes. Okay. So in the same way, I request everyone to try starting with a triple A and triple B, guys. So you will get a clear idea if you try it, guys. Okay? Yes. Okay. So let me go through that one more thing. So we will be discussing about ending with the a a or b b and substring a a b b. Okay. Yes. I know that few students might be thinking that okay, in the last lecture we have discussed these things, right? But here we are trying for both the things in a single diagram, right? So that's the major difference here. So a a or b b ending with. Okay. Yes. So Q naught. So here we are talking about ending with. Okay. Please concentrate at this. So now the smallest strings again here also they will be. those things only right a a and a b so for easy understanding i'm just drawing them separately only guys sir huh? sorry q3 q4 b okay yes okay so now we got a a and b b so now these two are final states right yes so indirectly we should end with a a and b b so basically in between if you get any kind of a b or a so you need to come back but if we got triple a you can continue here if we got triple b you can continue here right yes so now this particular node is completely done this particular node is also completely done to be clear this particular node is also completely done right yes so now we are left out with these two nodes one with b and one with a okay so if we started with a okay and we suddenly got a b okay so then what we can do guys so assume that our string is a b b so means it is ending with b b right yes so you started here you went here so from here you need to come to the below part right to accept that b b so i think if we are having a b i think we can come here and similarly if we got b a a the opposite case i think we can shift from here to here right yes and assume that the reverse way so assume that we got b b a a so at that time from after b b i am here now so just let me just show you with that things so from a b i came here from a b i came here so now i got double a so when it comes to double a i think okay so from these two spots we are not having the opposite things sir. so if from here if i get a if i get single a i can come here and if i get b here i can come here so i think now everything is done right yes okay so now this is the diagram for a starting sorry ending with a a or b b right yes so these questions are really interesting right so as you go on the interest in these questions will increase guys because the complexity will increase and you will start thinking in different different ways so a a and b b substring so substring will be really easy right yes so q not q1 
क्यूटो ये ये बी क्यू थ्री बी क्यू फोर सो टू बी क्लियर कैन आई कंबाइन दीज टू थिंग्स ऐसा द आंसर इज नो राइट बिकॉज हियर वी आर हैविंग ओनली बी लूप हियर वी आर हैविंग ओनली ए लूप सो दो आर इंडायरेक्टली डिफरेंट राइट यस ओके Anyway, we'll be going through the minimization steps. So, don't worry that much about those things, guys. Okay? Yes. So, we are discussing about A, A, right? And A, B, substrings. Okay. So, substrings. Okay. 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 Starting and ending with two different patterns, right? So A A and B B is two patterns, right? So A A is one pattern, B B is one pattern. So in the first lecture we solved them separately. Now we combine them. So in the next lecture we will be working with the counting, guys. So how can I count the length of that particular string and based on that length how can I accept it? Okay. So that is what we will be discussing in the next lecture, guys. So like length exactly equal to three, length greater than or equal to three, length less than or equal to three. Like even we will be discussing about length of individual characters, like length of a should be two in that way. Okay. Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? So how we are drawing drawing them and everything. And I request you to practice practice these all, guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next topic. That is, that is the length of these things, right? Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.